Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokonaman at YouTube with another modeling video. Today we're going to be looking at settings part 2 of 3D printing, especially with the App Mini. Uh, last time we looked at thickness wall of your models, the fill and the different type of plastics. We did it in PLA. This time we are doing it in ABS and we are going to exclusively look at the rafts and supports for more complex uh, prints that can't just uh, start off raftless and print as is. It will need a bit of support to retain its shape as well as uh, not deform or get any funny holes or do anything. Also, not falling over as it's printing. So things like printing a ball or an upside down triangle. We've got such as the angle of the support. Um, I've done one in 30 degrees, which I'm not mostly printing. One in 80 to show the maximum. Generally with the support, uh, I find that as thin as humanly possible, but uh, fairly um, reasonably dense is best. It's easy to tear away in um, ABS when I do my complex prints and for detail. It's uh, very brittle, so it snaps away. In uh, PLA, it has a tendency of melting and sticking together and just getting absolutely stuck and messy. Uh, PLA is more useful for just very simplistic, uh, basic models until we get into some more complex um, 3D printers. Or if you slice your model to the point where it's in so many small components, it's made up of basic shapes that print flat to the bed. Uh, space, not too far apart, and area. Uh, most of the time, uh, the default setting is perfectly fine. Three mil sticking out each side of the actual raft support. This gives you enough space to put your spatula um, between the model, the base, and slide it out. Uh, too much gets a bit uh, ridiculous. Uh, nothing or the base only makes it a bit hard to pry your raft off. Um, Raffless prints only for your very basic prints like blocks and whatnot. Majority of the prints that I'm doing, uh, as explained, is as fine as possible. 10, uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.1 resolution at uh, a very slow speed to get uh, ultimate uh, detail around as thick as possible with uh, fairly loose fill. I want this particular component on my model to be heavy so it has dense fill only for uh, this particular special print. Uh, previously we were doing a ball. Mm -hmm. But looking at my current project, uh, it's in many pieces, it's going to be chopped up and glued together and you can see these are items that do not quite uh, stand on its own. It's been orientated to get an ultimate print and you can see that uh, the raft is what it's sitting on and we've got all these supports that uh, just with a click of my finger they're already breaking. Once all broken off it's going to reveal what the full piece looks like and you can see that all of it doesn't make a lot of sense until it's been adequately cleaned up. Now I've got two prints and you can see that uh, this print is a much larger raft than this print, even though they've been set to 3mm. It's 3mm of the total surface area. And having a look that this is just the normal settings I do. Not ideal for round surfaces, but for basic shapes, for round surfaces, I much prefer this setting. So what we've got is 3mm sticking out of the raft and 30 degrees on angled build-up surfaces. We can see that there is a honeycomb or multiple layers and a funny cup underneath the ball. In theory, it should separate fairly easily, but it's not really, so I'm going to have to pry that little cup off. All I had to do was under the cup uh, pry it with the blade, and here we go. It's fairly distorted, there's deep dents, it's, it's very, very rough. It's going to be quite tricky to clean up. Um, the plastic is thin, the supports weren't too wide, and thus it's uh, sagging and melting and doing all sorts of terrible things. So for your round surfaces when you're printing up, um, definitely not ideal to have uh, minimum uh, support. For 80% support, 
the raft doesn't pull apart from the rest of the support very easily. Uh, we have a greater cup and then we've got the model here. The cup does look a bit rough with the supports that's very minimal. Uh, a bit tricky to remove. Uh, it wants out, so it just snaps and you can see that there's a few rough points where it's sticking to the base. It's not too bad, absolute minimum distortion, uh, a bit of sanding, a bit of putting, and we've got a very, very nice surface with minimum dimplage, where this one has some pretty uh, out there distortions and dimples. So if you're doing fairly round surfaces that can't fit on the bed, uh, maximum um, coverage or degree of support is required. And looking at uh, our special project, we can see that we've got a U-shape. So it's here to here, or an L-shape. And we've got a some sort of mini raft here, supports, and the major raft. In theory, we shouldn't have too much trouble removing it, being quite soft. Using the spatula, it just breaks off very easily and we can see closer that these wavy bits that's about oh, two microns thick are what the whole model is sitting on between the raft and the model itself and being very soft it just tears off very very easily but underneath that is sort of like a secondary raft straight to the model and that is fairly well stuck like a raft onto um, a flat bed. Now it's not perfectly flat, um, might have had uh, a tiny bit of movement when it was uh, mid-air, so it's going to take a couple of minutes to pry my scraper underneath and just remove to its flat surface. Bit rough underneath, but since the top is the surface that I'm displaying, not too bad. For how the reach details, a design or a scalpel knife is helpful in prying out the last of it. Please be very careful not to get yourself in the eye or hand. Now interestingly enough, this item or component is a mirror identical version to this item here. So here we can see what the uh, raft and the supports look like and how we get the finished model. And even though I don't have a rougher version to show uh, due to wishing to be conservative and save material, uh, even though there are a bit of a texture, the front's actually pretty smooth, so minimal putty and whatnot, the inside is a tad rough. Uh, Ideally, this is a pretty fantastic, very clean, very easy print. Uh, some of the components inside, due to its complex nature, was hard to remove. But uh, there we go, the difference between uh, a model that's been completely removed, cleaned up and free, as uh, originally CAD had designed and put in the software, and an item that has just come out of the 3D printer. Uh, keeping it thin keeps it easy to remove. Doing it in ABS opposed to PLA makes it so it's brittle and easy to snap off. PLA uh, will be almost near impossible to do it if it sort of disforms um, and uh, melts together. But uh, fairly easy, fairly happy. Tools you need is just a spatula and a knife and uh, by the end of the video we'll see what all the parts look like cleaned up where at the start we've seen them all on um, rafts and supports. Here is the finished result all cleaned up, packed up and ready for sanding and gluing. And you can see each compartment has its own internals and the reason why there was a raft and support. Unfortunately it creates a fair amount of weight in waste though this is more of a convenient thing. All in all this is a bit of an idea of why and what we do these things for. 
Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.